In this video, we're going to show how you can use LangSmith to debug your LangChain application. So what we just did was we ran our LangChain application against a number of input questions that we seeded. And in this project view, we can see a number of things right off the bat that's pretty interesting. The first thing that I take note of is not all runs were able to finish with a successful state. So there are a couple of runs where the agent failed to get to an appropriate end state or wasn't able to solve the question. The other thing I want to draw people's attention to is these other measures around latency and tokens. Uh, we collect how long it takes for the run to complete end to end. And we also track how many tokens were used in, the, in that run which are helpful if you're trying to optimize your end-to-end -end link chain application where latency or tokens is important to you. We really break down where the costs are. We give you some aggregate stats as well around the P50 and P99 for latency, as well as the total number of tokens for all the runs that we see in this project. So let's click into a particular run to see how we can use LangSmith to get more information about how the agent is performing. And really, this is one of the parts of LangSmith that people find tremendously helpful. Often when you're dealing with non-deterministic applications, it can be challenging to understand why the agent is taking a particular path that it is. And getting to the root problem or the root cause of explaining how the agent got its answer, or how the chain got to a particular state can be challenging if you don't have the right tools to help you debug. So let's take a, the, take a closer look at this run. Uh, this agent is trying to answer the question of what is the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy divided by the number of stars in the Milky Way? And you can see that it gets the answer of the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy divided by the number of stars in the Milky Way is approximately 10. But how did it get to that answer? We can step through this tree trace to see exactly what is happening in each step. So the first thing that I notice that this agent is doing is it's going to invoke a search and it's going to ask for the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy. We can see that's exactly what it does. It pulls this tool that it has access to, search tool. You remember from a prior video that we gave it access to the SERP API and it's querying number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy, it gets an answer of one trillion. The next thing the agent does kind of keeps track of that uh, response in its agent scratch pad. And it's going to now query the number of stars in the Milky Way which you can see it reaching for the search tool yet again, but this time searches for number of stars in the Milky Way, gets approximately 100 billion stars. The agent then realizes or reasons about what the next step uh, it should take. And it wants to use the calculator tool this time, and it's going to input this expression. We see it does exactly that, and it gets the answer of 10. And then the agent <clears throat> kind of reasons about uh, that it's finished, so this is the agent finish message. It solved the problem and it doesn't need to continue to do work. And so it outputs uh, the final answer, which is that there are approximately uh, 10 times as many stars in the Drama Galaxy as the Milky Way. We can see that it took 186 tokens uh, for, for at least this, this part of the run. Um, it took 890 tokens in total, but we get a real nice breakdown of um, along the way where, where, where all the tokens spent. So we see a breakout of the tokens and the latency along the way. And if I'm trying to really crack down on uh, where that time is spent, I can see that this was my most expensive step in terms of latency. And I can uh, drill down even further by expanding uh, the run to get as much detail as I want about which steps took the longest. And it turns out that this was my call to OpenAI uh, that took 4.67 seconds. So we give you really nice detail here 
on tokens and latency on every step of the way. Uh, you can also hide that and you can collapse the run as well so that you can hide some of the detail, but, but no, just the high level path that the agent took to get to uh, an answer. One of the really great parts about Linksmith is we also make it very easy for any LLM call that we make, you can jump right in to a playground. Uh, and so we give you that option right here. And this is a nice way for you to be able to maybe try a different model. Maybe you'd like to change uh, the prompt, uh, change some of the inputs like temperature or max length, and you can rerun it directly from the Langsmith interface. And this is the part of the application where we are running or making a call to OpenAI on your behalf. And so you do need to supply your, your token, uh, your, excuse me, your API key for OpenAI, or if you're using a different model, you know, we support um, Azure OpenAI, Anthropic, Vertex, Fireworks, Google Palm. And uh, if we don't yet support it, let us know. Very easy for us to add additional models here to our playground. But uh, this is uh, an easy way for you to test out uh, the flow. And so perhaps maybe uh, instead of um, approximately 100 billion stars returned uh, 10 billion stars, uh, I'm able to rerun uh, this flow and see if I can get a different response. Uh, and so this is a really great way for you to iterate on your prompts and try out different approaches. Uh, this doesn't change your code, but it gives you a scratch pad to ideate quickly. And should you have a better approach, you can update your code and rerun again. So let's go back to the rest of the runs, uh, see if there are other things that I want to point out. Uh, let's click into a run that failed. So this is an interesting run because I wasn't able to get to an end result and we failed on this calculator step, but I'm able to see the reason why we failed really easily. And uh, that's because uh, if I click in, we had an error on this LLM math chain um, and we were expecting a valid numerical expression but instead we got a question of Jupiter uh, divided by Mercury and the calculator was not able to resolve that, that uh, expression. So that's also pretty useful as to where it went wrong and um, how I can iterate on the prompt or iterate on some guardrails to make sure that I'm getting numerical expressions instead of string or text expressions. So one of the things that we also make pretty easy for you is suppose you want to show this run with someone that you're collaborating with, you can share it and you can copy this, this run. And even if they don't have access to Linksmith or they're not in your account, uh, you can make this run public so that anyone who has this URL can take a look and dig deeper with you on what may have gone wrong and, and try to iterate on a better response. And we'll pause here for the debugging and next we'll show some of the features on how do you add runs to data sets for further evaluation.